we met at um, the writing workshop from Iranasan Ekoji. After that, you came to one of my readings. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then we just got to talking. and Yeah, yeah. At the writing workshop, I think there was like a nice um, feeling of kinship or that, that we both want to write. Yeah. And afterwards, we exchanged numbers and, um, and we just started meeting up to write, actually. Okay, so my father is British. Um, so half of my family is British. And I definitely have all these funny influences from my British father and family. Like my dry, sarcastic humor that people think I'm serious because they because I'm not British like they don't they're not like oh she's British so this is her humor they're like what like <laughs> what are you saying um I live here with my British passport um and when Brexit happens I will have to go through the process of you know hopefully um a not so painful process of continuing to live here in Germany yeah take time to listen and actually go out there and kind of have conversations and not just, um, I don't know, not just read the newspaper all day and not talk to anyone or just literally just be living off all this media that's like online and not having any actual offline connections with people. I hope that Brexit is like a great, like Brexit and the US election, the recent US election, are such a great jumping off point for our generation. Like, we turn this into a, a, a proactive peoples that, that are really engaged politically. Um, and I know for me, like the US election and Brexit, this my two passports, my two countries, in this moment I felt um, very shaken and, and just um, that I, I need to be more politically engaged and that that's a part of my job and my identity. I feel like conversation needs to happen people need to actually talk face to face and not um not through i don't know 240 characters on twitter or something like that